Good morning, my name is Molly Strickland. I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas, and we're gonna be taking our tour of Buchanan Drogue Hall right now. Here so we we're just directly outside. We're just gonna show you what the area was like at first. There's the sign right there. There's a lovely sign. Yes. Yeah, There's gonna be a sign on every single building, so if you ever get lost, it'll tell you. Um, we're in Central Campus, kind of, you know, kind of on the slot, yes. slope of the hill. We're on the central side. Um, yeah. So Buchanan Droke is a three-story building. We're on the back side of it, actually. Um, and in front of Buchanan Droke is gonna be the rec center. So that's gonna be all your so exercise. So through those trees right there. Through the yeah. trees. Um, there's also the volleyball and gymnastics stadium, I guess you would call it. I don't know what to call those. Gymnasiums. Now, did you go to the rec center? I did. Uh -huh. I went to the rec center a lot. There's this main one. There's one inside the union, which was my favorite one to go to because it's smaller um, but it's really nice they have a bunch of group fitness classes that you can go to online urec.uark.edu and i did a 6 30 a.m cycling class before wow way yes. to go <laughs> i know getting out there okay um, and the stadium you can just kind of peek in through right there you see the stadium yeah you can see at least um, the donald yes w reynolds right there and then right next is going to be gladson ripley which is the sister building or mm -hmm to Buchanan Droke. Known collectively as Badger. Badger, yes. BGDR. And then up above, we're gonna have um, Yoakum and Humphreys are gonna be right above. And then uh -huh. you can't see that's it. That's Founders right there, I believe. We were just at Founders yesterday. That's Gregson. Oh, it's Gregson, sorry, yes, thank you. Yes, Gregson. Founders you can't see, just like you can't see the dining hall, which is Bruff, which mm -hmm. is gonna be your nearest dining hall. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a Starbucks there. There's a Bruff A Go Go, which is a place to go to do a quick uh, meal swipe between lunch when you have classes to go get something quick to go. And there's going to be some meal trade options over there in Founders. So, and then we have what Yoakum and Humphreys, Humphreys right here. And then Yoakum is covered by these trees. Right, right. Uh, yeah, okay. so, Excellent. You'd asked about uh, parking. Yes. Yeah. So when you park, uh, when you arrive in August here. You'll probably park along this ridge. Yes, right, right above here. here. Yeah, and uh, we have it paced so that you won't come in. Not too many people at once, so you'll have time to kind of come down and load things in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you ready to head into? Yes, we can go you on can inside. Drill? Okay. Um, this building was built in 1955, so it's a little older, and it was originally named Buchanan Hall and Droke Hall. Um, Buchanan came from the first president of the University of Arkansas, and Droke came from the dean of the Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences. Well, you're just dropping crazy history just on us. Crazy history that I have memorized. Nice. Okay. Um, so this is going to be the main lobby in here. You can just come in, uh, relax, sit down. There's a TV. Air conditioning is strong in here too. Yes, I'm it's very that. cold in here, which is nice. Yeah. So let me come around and show you the. Uh, area yes. where you get your, ma your mail. Welcome to BG BDGR right there. Um, so your mail will come here even if you live in Gladson Ripley. You'll come yes. here to pick up your packages and your mail. Yeah, um, and then this is gonna be just like the front desk. If you ever have questions, go to the person who's sitting at the front desk. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you have big packages, then that's where they're gonna be. Sure. And you just uh, got fobbed in. Yes. Because that's a big security yes. feature that we have. Everyone has to fob into every single dorm. Right. Mm -hmm. So your friends just can't walk in. You have to come down and then pick them up. So we're going to go check out the mail. Area yes. Two. So right here, we're going to have all of the mailboxes. You'll get assigned this whenever you move in. You and your roommate will share a mailbox, and they'll give you the code on an email. So make sure that you're logging into your Arkansas email because it's about to become your life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Well, um, so these floors are just kind of like long rectangles. Yes. And uh, with a with a corridor down the middle, and we're about to go check out the, uh, the first floor. Yes, we'll go this way, yeah. and we're on the f technically the first is what the sign says. So I guess you can come around. And anyone who's watching, feel free to ask us questions. We welcome that. We look forward to answering anything we can for you. Uh, tell us a bit about you. What are you studying here at the University of Arkansas? I am an advertising and public relations major, and I'm going to have a marketing minor. Uh -huh. I will be a junior in the fall because I've taken so many classes to get me a year ahead. Oh wow. So uh -huh. I'm just trying to 
start in the real world. Sure, we've got a water fountain right there. Let's see, now laundry is... Just wanted to point this out, trash chute yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Bring all of your trash to this right here. Um, just, you don't, you can't just expose a bit anywhere, so. Gotcha, It's gotcha. all labeled. Bring your trash to the trash chute. Bring your trash to the trash chute. Keeps it all clean for Do everybody. Do not just leave it in the hallway. All right, so we're just gonna show you the kitchen real quick. Uh -huh. um, inside of here, it's gonna have a fridge, ice machine, and a stove. You can come here and cook if you are not wanting to go to the dining hall and cook something up there. Yeah, make so. a quick pizza, or even you can check out pots and pans yeah. and cook a full meal if you want to. You do not have to bring anything. Um, there is a microwave in here, so you technically do not need a microwave. It can save, save some space. Mm -hmm. So that's something you might want to consider when moving in. I think one of the interesting things that stands out to me about this hall is you know, there's only 100 people who live here, so everybody gets to know each other really well. And it is an all-female hall. Right. Okay. okay, so we're kind of in the center of the building now. Yeah, so there's going to be some recycling right here. Mm -hmm. And then two, when we enter inside this door, it's going to be our laundry room. So it's going to have four dryers, three washers. Um, you don't have to bring your own coins or anything. It's all included in your fees. Mm -hmm. But there is some really cool service that they have where it's up here on the walls, in case you forget what I say here in a few seconds. It's the laundry alert system, so whenever you have your clothes inside the washer or the dryer, it will alert you whenever it's done. You can come pick it up. It will also tell you if there's any free ones. So that way you're not wasting time coming all the way down here just for them to all be taken. Sure. Something good to utilize. And when you say notification, what do you mean? It'll come to your phone? It will come to or? your phone, or if you do it on your computer, it can come to your computer. Mm -hmm. um, you just have the option and it tells you where to do it from. Um, like I said, these are the directions up here, so you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about today, but remember, somewhat of what I'm talking about is right here on the wall. You cannot forget it. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And uh, Chris asks, which hall is this? Well, yeah, it's Buchanan this, Drope. This is Buchanan Drope that we're touring right now. Now, if this isn't your hall, you can always check movein.uart.edu yes. and find out when we're doing your tour. These will all be archived on University Housing's YouTube channel as well. So in here, so it's just going to be, yes, right in there. So this is going to be just a common area space where you can come and just relax with some friends. There is a DVD player, there's a flat screen, um, and then there's also some vending machines in here. There are some beds that you're about to see. Those are just yeah. bed posts. This is right? just putting them up for here for now. Uh, and and vending machines, of for course. group study. Group study is going to be something that you're going to be doing a lot. It's not just independent work. Um, and yeah. there is an air hockey table. Air hockey? What's your air hockey game like? You pretty good? Gosh. No? That's I, I remember I playing at like anything. Showbiz Pizza Place. That was pretty good. I always played it at Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> what showbiz always, became at some like, point. Like I got my, I would do my fingers like this, uh -huh. and so the puck would always hit my fingers. And so I, ever since then, I just really, really? hate it. <laughs> I played it at the beach this summer, though. They had a four-person table. Uh-huh. And, or two on each side, but the random pucks would just drop down. It was the worst thing ever. Oh gosh, Me gosh. Me and my family, not a good idea, but the girls did win. Random pucks. Random facts. <laughs> um, so now, okay, so we're heading down to the, uh, I guess this is the south end of the building. Yes, we're just showing you all of what it looks like, and there's just dorms over here, rooms uh -huh. over here. Some of these rooms are occupied at the moment because we have conference assistants who are students that we employ in housing, and they help us with all of our camps that we run. Here's so you might see a random person. There's always construction going on at the university. Yes, during it's the summer. It's not just our university, it's every university. Um, here's okay. just another kind of space right here. Um, if you parking or in resident reserved you'll know when that's coming out sure. another yeah. entrance as well another entrance right here and then this is just there's kind of seating area where this? someone can meet you yeah and then we'll you can go back down the hallway okay. and we'll get to the bathroom mm -hmm. and the bedroom so yes. make sure that you're sending in questions that we can answer mm -hmm. okay 
And I think, you know, of course, this is normally a women's residence hall, but during the summer, we have some gentlemen uh, who are helping us, who are living here, uh, students, male students. You can hear some of the music going. They're jamming in there. <laughs> I don't even know what song that is. All right. So let's try to look at the restroom if we can. Yes, that's right up here. You're getting to it. All right. Long hallway. It's a long hallway. This Something I really like about this hall though is a lot of people keep their doors open. Nice storm deck. So it's nice to, you know, make friends and you have that open style. Someone's in that bathroom. Someone's in that bathroom right now? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we hop down to the first floor again where the women's bathroom is? Okay, we'll hop down. And we'll just, yeah, if someone's in there, we don't want Someone it. was in both of them because I was like, oh, we'll just show that one. Yeah. Oh. Last time someone was in the one downstairs, so. <laughs> it's really hey, cool. live TV, it has its own uh, rhythm to it. Yes, I'm just going to do my exercise today. Okay, let's So now where are you from, Molly? I'm from Rogers. Rogers, yes. Arkansas. You can say Fayetteville for all the people who don't know what Rogers is. <laughs> but it's a, considered a big town here. Sure. It's 20 minutes north of here. I think that's kind of the equivalent of when people say, I'm from Dallas. Yeah. And they're from Texas, and, but they're and not they're from they're actually here. from Frisco. Right. So Plain no out. one's in here. But this is just going to be a female's bathroom, which they're all female. Um, so we have some seats right here, and we have a mirror right here. We have two bathrooms. Um, just regular. We're comfortable showing the shower. Let's see what's going on in there. Let's see how big the shower is. So it's about a square. It's enough space. That's all you need. You don't need any more space. Gotcha. Um, and it does have some racks up here. You can put your stuff up here, which some people have been doing. Um, yeah, just to get an idea of what the showers kind of look like. And there are command strips in here. So like. My big suggestion, girls, guys, you can get a shower caddy. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't get the plastic kind, and you can hang it up on there so while you're taking a shower, you can just grab your shampoo and whatever. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Um, so we have what? Two, two toilets? Toilets uh, and two showers. Two showers, yeah. Yes, and there's also hooks on this outside. Okay. So and then three like, sinks here. Three sinks. I don't know why there's three sinks. Okay. All right, so let's head back up to the room. Yes, we're going and, to go back um, where we were. The room that we show you will be typical of all the rooms here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. They'll all have carpet. Um, there will all be movable furniture. So you can adjust it however you want. Mm -hmm. It's probably just easier if you leave it though. So we're going to have space. Okay, if you're room 153, this is your room. Welcome to your home. Yes. So, as we walk inside, you're going to have two beds. You can send in a maintenance request if you want to get them lofted. Right. Um, I forgot the website for that. My leg. Oh, just that uh, you can either turn in a maintenance request and get it lofted by us, or yes. you can check out a rubber mallet at the front desk. And just do it yourself. Yeah. Or bring, even better, bring your own rubber mallet, then you don't yeah. have to worry. Always bring your own stuff. It's easier. Yeah. Uh, there's also two desks right here. They have drawers on each side. I'm covering them. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have two chairs. The chairs do, you can take off. Yeah. Why don't you show them how that action off. works? Yeah. If you don't mind. I think I remember. Ah! Bam. They become rockers. Nice. Yeah. Or you can use this as a chair too. Depending on how party room your room is, so. Right. I we, always have people in my room. You can put that together later, it's all right. Yeah. Um, here is the uh, window unit too. Let's be sure we point out there's a window unit. Here. Yes, you're gonna have an in-air air conditioning. Um, it's not bad at all. You can mm -hmm. just adjust it if your heart desires. Um, and then we're gonna have two. Yeah, why don't you open wardrobes. up this closet for the wardrobe for? It. Two wardrobes right here, <clears throat> um, where you can hang your stuff. You can put shoes up here, put whatever up here, and then you have a little space down below. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have drawers also right next to it. So sure. and this hall was renovated in 2010, so it's been a lot of good things that have been added since then. Yeah. 
Um, Alona asks, uh, what are the window dimensions? Yeah, I wonder let's if we can measure that, measure that for her. Window, I made some help. You think you could? So 100 inches would be the width, and then the height. 52, 53, because we're missing, or 52, from the window yeah. top. From the wall, it's about 52 and a half. So 100 by 52? 52, yeah. Okay. If you're wanting, oops, if you're wanting curtains, yeah. 52. Now, I would say as far as curtains go, you want to be aware of this fact that it comes out a little bit right there. Yes. It's the only thing. I mean... It does have blinders. Right? Yeah, you Already really don't need curtains blinds. unless you really want them. Um, something you might just want to take as less, the less stuff the better. Because you can always buy stuff when you get here. Our pleasure. Thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we'll point out there's a fan here as well, which you may or may not use. You know, it's there yeah. for your usage if you wish. Turn on the light. Oh. And there's a fan. Yeah. So it's working now. Um, yeah. So if any of y'all have questions, please comment yeah. them in the question box. Are there any um, tips you might give them as they're moving in? Anything you learned when you moved in, what, two years ago? No, last year. One year ago. Yes. Yeah. So always be prepared. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have everything that you need. And if you don't, that's okay. We have Walmarts. We have Targets. We have TJ Maxx. We have everything. Um, the less stuff, the better. Because I remember I would bring all my stuff in and I just felt crowded. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're already in a small space and you, you can try to minimize your stuff. Um, girls, um, guys too, you just, I don't know if you have as much clothes as I do. Usually it's our girls. I lofted my bed so that way I could put another little uh, drawer underneath to have a little bit more space for my clothes. Um, but, I mean, that would be my biggest advice for anyone who's about to move in is you can always lock your bed to put more stuff underneath it. So you're saying so. summer is kind of pack less, get in the space, yes. figure out what you really need and then go get it? Yeah. And like only bring, if you're from Dallas, let's say, and you don't plan on going home a whole lot, just bring your ball clothes down here. Make sure to bring some summer stuff. It stays hot probably until October, but you don't bring your whole wardrobe at once because you can always take things home when you go home for Thanksgiving. So keep that in mind. Got a couple uh, questions that came in. Yeah. One is from Joy. She asked, is it a twin or a twin XL size sheets? Um, it's twin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a, I forget if this is a 74, I know it's a 36 across. Yep. So what is it in that dimension? I think you've gotten better and better managing that tape measure. No, I'm trying to. 77. 77, so 76 probably. Yeah. So it's a 70, 76. Okay, it's hard yeah. to keep that tape measure down. Right, right, right. So um, 36 by 76. Uh, in this case, the we want to give the, the width first, so 36 by 76 is correct. Yes. Okay. Um, Alona asks, where would you find the maintenance request? Well, you would go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it, F I X. IT yes. and that will lead you right there also on the home page you'll see the letters fix it on the left hand navigation and you can also just click on there it's a general maintenance request and you would say in your maintenance request you would want to say hey I need my bed lofted yeah and this is my room and here's my bed and they will do it for you I did a lot of maintenance requests so did you how did you use the maintenance yeah. requests usually um well our blinds broke mm -hmm. so I had to do a maintenance request for that and then I thought at one point our air conditioning wasn't working and it was just me not turning the knob. So I did something like that. And then my roommate, on the first day of first day of anything, moving in, she dropped her phone down the elevator shaft. Oh. So we had to put in a maintenance request to go get that. But <laughs> they don't, if you send it late on a Friday, they're not gonna get it until Monday. Mm -hmm. She couldn't get her phone till Monday, so she was SOL. So out of luck. It was really So out of luck. And uh, it could be something as simple as changing a light bulb, too. I mean, yeah. it could be, we're, we're here to, you know, help you have they a do great living experience at the University of Arkansas. Um, 
Well, it sounds like that's the last of our questions. Yes. Um, what do you think, Molly? Um, well, you can always, if you did have any more questions, you can go to our website, go to housing.uart.edu, and click on the individual dorm, and they have some room dimensions on there. If you also didn't catch anything that we were saying, you can also go back and watch this video. Mm -hmm. And if this is not your dorm, then you can go to movein.uark.edu and see the complete schedule of all of the UARC home live videos that we're going to be doing. So that's it for now. Sounds good. And we'll see y'all at 2 o'clock for the next video. Okay. Thanks for waving us out. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>